We've created our schedules with Station Playlist Creator Pro. Now it's time to put them to air using its companion program, Studio Pro. When you first start with Studio, you'll need to set a few parameters. First go to View, Options, General. Here you'll find a range of options to run the program. For example, if the PC is a dedicated on-air machine operating 24 hours a day under automation, you'll want to tick Load Studio at Windows Logon, Visible at Startup, Auto Load Playlists, Auto Reload Playlists, and Auto Play at Startup. In the case of EasyFM, we also want to display a custom logo, which you can see at the top right of the screen. The next page is Advanced. Here we can determine how Studio moves from one hour schedule to the next. In our case we're selecting Play Next, so that the song played at the end of the hour goes through to the end before the next hour schedule starts. If however your station has a need to meet the hour exactly, you will need to select Instant, which truncates the song playing and skips directly to the start of the next hour schedule. There's also the option to ignore the start of the next hour, and this means that the entire schedule will be played without reference to time. Short Hours. Selecting Insert Top-Up Tracks allows us to create a folder containing suitable instrumental tracks that will play should the scheduled hour not contain enough material to fill the full hour. This folder is selected in the Folder Locations page. Or you can choose to repeat the last hour or start the next hour early. There are also options to vary the speed of tracks to ensure that the last track in an hour finishes precisely on time. Voice track intro overlapping allows the voice tracks and intros that we've recorded in Creator to overlap the start of the song. The other options are of a housekeeping nature that you can look up in the help files, as are the options on the event times page. We've already had a quick look at the folder locations page here you also need to select where Studio is to look for playlists created by Creator and also where it's to store the station's airlog that lists what was played and when, together with any errors generated. The input page allows you to first select that you want to crossfade the song files and then establish the default parameters for this crossfade. Songs that have already had their attributes set using Track Tool will use those attributes rather than the default times that Studio adds when it scans the file for the first time. In addition, spots or voice tracks without previously established parameters will not be scanned if the boxes are not checked. There is also a checkbox to select when you've used Replay Gain when scanning files in Track Tool. If you plan to use microphone or line inputs in addition to file playback, these parameters can also be set here. The output page sets the destination for your program. There are two key options, to either use a single sound card and mix all of the signals to that one output internally, or use multiple sound card outputs to individually send the signals independently to an external mixer. The level by which a track is faded to accommodate voiceovers is also set here. Digital signal processors can be inserted in the outputs and these can be configured. In the schedule we've created in Creator for EasyFM, we've made provision for time calls through a break note. To enable that break note in Studio, we go to the time and temperature page and fill in the information required so that Studio can find the files we recorded and read the file name format. We're also going to play them as voice tracks so that the time call goes over the start of the song. Once our program has aired, we want to be able to produce a log and this can either be a single file containing all of the elements or it can be separated into three different files one containing songs, one spots and the other everything else. Now we've set up the options, let's load our schedule. You can see that the different types of entries have differing icons and colours to make it easy to see what's going on. There are also several clocks that variously give you playlist times, track playing counters as well as the current time and the number of minutes to the end of the hour. Hit Automate and we're on the air. Because we ticked Auto Load Playlists in the general options, 15 minutes before the end of the hour, Studio will automatically load the next hour. And as long as new playlists are created in Creator, either manually or through Auto Playlist creation, EasyFM will stay on the air 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, fully automated.